Uh, hello everybody, back working in Scotland today, continuing with this um, this ash clearance job. Um, I got a message off somebody on YouTube, um, and people appear to like these winch videos that I make, but um, a guy was asking if I could actually make a video about um, rope management, how you actually set up and use the rope on this. So that what this uh, that's what this short video is about. Uh, sorry, I'm out of breath. This stuff's exhausting. Um, what we're doing is um, we're winching trees from way down there. Um, you probably can't see it. I'll try and zoom in, but I've got to set up a, a redirect pulley. There you go. Can you see that there? Around the tree. Um, so I'm going to winch up to that redirect pulley, then I'll take the pulley off. And um, then I'll finish the winch. And you'll, you'll not see the trees until they appear up over the, the brow of that hill. Okay, so so this is the winch, and this is the rope we use, and it's double braid rope. Rope, it's a specialist rope you use. You can't use a regular um, rigging rope. It'll just it'll just melt it. Um, this thing's designed. This thing's actually designed to sort of flex. You, you can feel there's a separate core, a loose separate core inside there. Now let's have a look at the winch. Um, again, um, because we're at a very steep angle. I'm using the strop around a tree. I'm not using the base plate to support it. That's because I don't want to damage this tree. Um, the key thing to remember when you're setting the rope up to use on a winch is that this winch has four rope guards or rope guides and you need to work with them. The first is this one at the bottom and the rope will actually go on top of that to make sure the rope doesn't go underneath it. The, the second rope guide is this here. Now this is actually angled and what it does is as the rope comes around it feeds it back out creates a gap at the bottom so the next section of rope can actually follow it in. The next guide is this one at the top and then this is for as you've seen for guiding the rope out and the final one is on the end I was in the end of this uh, pulley wheel here and that's to stop the rope slipping off. Now the absolute key thing is, and you don't really get this in the instructions, is that when the rope is set up, and this is under tension, you want the winch angled slightly away from the line of the rope. The reason being... Could you put one and hold this camera for you? Just keep that on. The reason being that when the rope is coming in, and it's like this, if the winch isn't angled this way, then what happens is the feed rope crosses over and gets tangled up on top of the rope that's already on the pulley wheel. And that is a whole world of hurt. You don't want to get in there. It, it, it basically it, it creates this Gordian knot and you just cannot get it out without cutting the rope. Especially at this end of the rope, the work ends under tension, it just locks the whole thing up solid and you'll end up cutting your rope. Okay, so I'm going to start the um, the engine now. I'll not be able to talk when I'm running the engine because it's too loud. I'll have my ear mushed down. But you'll see me do a number of things. First thing is I will start the engine. I will keep the rope to hand. And you can see that we're right at the end of a 60 meter length of rope here. I've just got enough to play with. Um, I'll start the engine. I'll have the rope to hand. I'll start the engine very low revs. I'll increase the revs slightly. I will pick up the engine. Then I'll begin to feed the rope on carefully. I'll make sure that the angle is correct, that the wrench is slightly angled away from the feed rope. Um, I'm going to put three to four turns on the winch. I'll feed it through here. Then I'll very gently put some tension on the rope. That will lock it to the pulley wheel. You'll see the winch come up. And only then, when everything's set up, will I put the winch on the full revs. And you, you run this at full revs all of the time. That is least stressful for the engine. When we come to the end of the pull, what will happen is I'll very quickly reach over, I'll put the throttle right down, I'll relax the rope, this will continue to turn because there's no tension on the rope, it'll not be pulling any tension, it'll not be pulling the tree in, and then I'll turn it off. So that's what, that's what you're going to see happen next. So now I can cut, I can cut my, my talking out. So I'm going to turn this on, I'm going to make sure the throttle is down, quite low, start the engine. Right up 
compartments very low, with the engine, you can have to be there, 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 you can have to